Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tackle another popular interview question. So, how to count the occurrences of a specific character in the given string using a JavaScript? So, this is a common task you will get encounter in the coding challenges. So, if you are going for interview or you are just preparing for interview, so you can consider this question. So, this playlist will help you to how many coding questions can be asked in the interview. So, in this way, you can be uh, more prepared uh, uh, for all the questions. So, whether you are preparing for interview or you are just brushing up your coding skills. So, this is, this is the one for you. So, let's get started. So, I can create one function first or I can call it function. Let me create occurrences, count occurrences function. Let me copy this, create a const. Let me create a one arrow function. Okay, then it will take string, then character, which character we want to check. Okay, so this is how we can create it. Okay, let me call this as well. Let me make it capital or small c here. Okay. So I can call it from console or I can create one function console.log. Then occurrences. Let me pass these values which we have here. First will be a JavaScript. Then I want to count a how many times a occur in this okay so now talking about uh see we are not returning anything from here so that's fine so uh if you think about it so how can we do this now so we have multiple ways to do it so we can split it this string with the character which we have and based upon that we will split it and we will get it so let me show you how can we do this will be the one way to do it so we have uh, another way so if you you can pause the video and think about how many ways we can do this okay so we will go through it if you know about it just comment out right now itself okay so uh, let's check with the split first so what exactly we have to do so let me show you one thing over here so re before returning anything so if I, if i do split str dot split split and with the character which we have right if i return now this you will see that I miss this. Okay. Are this function we are returning split, so split will not return anything. So that's why it is not returning. So let me create one variable. Test let output. Okay. So I can return this now. So now save it. We are calling this, we are calling it the split, str dot split, character we are giving. Okay, I have not saved this. Okay, I forget to add it over here in the index file. So let me do that. Because it was referring the previous file. Let me copy this line, paste here. We copy this file name which we have here. Count occurrences. This can be referred here. Okay, so this is our file name. Occurrences should be not expecting this let me do like this file name and rename this as well okay what it is saying this is aborted because it was not able to find that file let me see what exactly is happening name except name Ah, it worked now. Okay, so file name was not the correct. That's why. Okay, so where still it is defining something else. 
Let me see what exactly is happening. So there's something else. Changing the stream. Okay, so it should be working now. Let me update this as well. I hope this will work now. Oops, JS, JS, twice. Why? Now coming to function, what it is saying? This should not be capital, this should be small. So that's fine. So we have here, we have split it with a A, okay? So we are passing here. So now what exactly has happened? We have split it with a A. Okay, and based upon that, we got a value of three. So it three length. Okay, so based uh, we can consider that. So we splitted this string with our character, and character was found twice. Okay, and the length is three because it's it was it was two places. So that's why it is splitted to three level. So so on this thing, we can do we can check like this. So we can get length minus one. So, so I have to add dot here. Okay. So this way we can do it. So if you see here, A is comes once, second time and A here. So we got only three times. If I add A here, so it should four, four, five time now. These are the three, four, five. So if anyone know, anyone has a, any issue with this, please comment over there so I can, explain you what exactly it does what exactly it is doing over there okay so this was the first way so with the help of that we can do it so we have another way with the reduce as well so i will just copy this code and i will show you what exactly we are doing over there so to make this video shorter so i have one function so now let me explain first what exactly we are doing over here so let me replace now let me check for T now. Let me check for T now. Okay. So T is coming for three times, correct? So it should print three. Okay. So what we are doing here, we are splitting our string, we are giving to reduce, we are have accumulator and the current value, correct? We are checking current, we are splitting means nothing but let me show you as well what exactly it will print. So we are splitting our string, so it will print one by one. So dot log. Okay, so see what exactly it is doing. So it is uh, spreading everything. Okay, now what we are doing over here on this line, we are checking our current value. Okay, current value we are checking with the character. So which we are passing from here. Okay, so if it is there, then we are adding accumulator by one. Okay, so now if you see we have passed as a t so t will compare with j false then it will come for it will come through p it will be zero correct because we don't have anything so that value will not be get, gonna update okay as soon as it it will come here it will update by one then two by three so let me remove now one so it should print two now you see two so this is how we are doing with the reduce so these are the two way we can use a built-in functions okay so there is another way with the help of uh, loops we can do it so let me show you that as well so this will be very easy so let me show you that as well same thing we are doing over here with the help of loop itself so that's it so nothing we are doing anything so let me count uh, let me create this variable itself let me create a count here again. Count equal to zero for now. Okay, if you see, t comes twice. Now we'll check for p. So I will add four p, and I will update here p. Okay, you see four times. So same thing we are doing, which we did here. Okay, if it is matching, then we are updating value, and we are returning that value. That's it. So these are the three ways we can do it. So so practice these things okay one by one so this is, there is a 
if you see here, let me divide this thing so you can understand better. So if you think uh, this is the very simple way to do it, okay, with the help of the split function. If someone asks you without split, without built-in function, then you can go with this for loop. And if someone asks with the reduce, so you should be know what exactly we have to pass in the reduce and how can we get the value written from the reduce and what can be the previous value we can pass over there. So that's it for this video. We have gone through the multiple ways to count the occurrences of character in the string by using a JavaScript. So whether you are prefer to traditional loop or a function loop, or if you are leveraging the JavaScript built-in methods with a split and also those are the multiple ways we can do. I hope you enjoyed this content and found it helpful. So don't forget to give a like and subscribe for more content like this and drop a comment if you have any other questions you want me to cover in the next next video. So until next time, happy coding. Bye bye.